And all the lights that light the way are blinding There are many things that I would like to say to you But I don't know how Maybe Are you gonna be the one that says Hello everybody um, I was, yeah, anyway What were we talking about? We don't have to acknowledge that Griffin's here because he's not here. He's he's up in his ivory tower doing his uh, doing bougie things like you know working in Florida just after there's that storm or the storm's still ongoing. I don't know. One of those things happened. But he's, Griffin, um, Griffin has died sadly. He's he's PMC for that one. Post menstrual cycle. Um. That's what that means. Anyway. What was... I realize I had... I'm realizing I have so many verbal tics, like, anyway. Um, but I was saying that, uh, you know, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna just... I'm not just gonna randomly bring that up. I was just, I'm not just gonna randomly bring up my super dumb joke about what Love, Simon actually is. That's better. <laughs> You're gonna have to see the tweet for that where I say what Love, Simon is. Um, people are just gonna think that contains a slur now. <laughs> Whatever. Um, it does. Um, I'm also realizing that my audio's messed up and that I need to adjust it. There we go. That's when they're, uh, uh, that's what they're gonna call gay people if, uh, if DeSantis wins in 24. It's gonna be, uh, yeah. more socially acceptable. You're gonna hear people whispering, is that guy a Simon or does he just have really limp wrists? Yeah. yeah. I've sucked penis, um, I can say that. I- yeah, I've I I've uh, nothing. Fuck. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna. I'm just looking at. Oh, I was gonna. I was gonna talk about the. Oh yeah, I was gonna talk about this with Patrick, or we were going to, but I don't think we got around to it, and I sent it the wrong channel. Go listen to the Patreon episode with Patrick, by the way. Yes, it was very uh, funny. It's we really had a good. good. Time with that one. Patreon.com most controversial. Go listen to it. Um, I just sent some of the stand-up shots that I had from that, uh, from that time that I think, I forget what group chat that was in, but it was, uh, it was just, I think me, or Ty and I, and then a couple other people are just sending screenshots from the stand-up shots. Uh, Griffin, Griffin is getting in here. Oh, he is? Yeah, do we want to start over? No, no, it's, all right, you know what, yeah, we'll just start, we'll keep rolling and then. That, that that first that first part wasn't. It good. was literally three minutes. Like it's fine. We can start over. I may need yeah, to leave at the anyway. forty-five minute mark of this one, though. That's whatever. Um. Yeah. J- just just keep your audacity running. Keep your motor running. And then. Yeah. At probably like three fifty five or three fifty, I'm gonna dip out. Okay. Um. How far do you live from campus? Um, three stops on the train. It usually takes me about 25 to 30 minutes to get there. Um, but I also want to okay. get dinner before I, uh, oh. so I want to grab like a burrito or something like that. Yeah. I want to get anything. I, uh, can you add me to like one of those lunch group chats that you're in or something? Cause I need recipes. I'm not in any lunch group chats. I thought you were in a lunch group or is that just a Twitter group? Oh, food Friday. That's the one you're yeah. thinking of. Um, yeah, that is entirely dead. Nobody posts in there. Oh, yeah. Food fry core. <laughs> um, damn, I can't believe they killed Food Friday. It's pretty tragic. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should I should just ask Spencer, because he's, like, up on He's very, stuff. very good at cooking, yeah. Although his recipes yeah. might be a little bit complicated in some cases. That's fine. I, you know... Sure, I I burnt I 
caused a small fire trying to make pancakes a week ago, but I can do that. Oh, yeah, you know what I did recently is I forgot that the, um, fucking, uh, the red pepper flakes didn't have a, where are you, you bitch, you fucking late bitch. Um, yeah. <laughs> God damn it, guys. Um, that's what I said he was, and I was right. Um, and then I also, to be fair, I said it's because you're working as a barista, and the weather holocaust is happening right now. I was not. I was not making any excuses for you. I was incredibly mean spirited. Uh, I've also made that mistake plenty of times. So, anyway, I'm the only one who hasn't fallen asleep. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, um. Just uh, as long as is your audacity up, we can start. Um, I'm running it right now. Okay. Um, I don't think we need to do the clap thing, so I'm going to download the Craig anyway to sync it up. The Craig. The Craig file, yeah. Can you hear my fan? No. Okay, okay. If you could just turn up your gain a bit, or you're just quiet. Um, okay, I'll up my gain a little. Yeah. I'll... Oh, my motherfucking... Okay. All right. I think we're good. All right. I think that that's the start of the episode. Okay. Start two. <laughs> we're back. Griffin's here. Hello, Griffin. After, after Hello. betraying us yeah. by by being employed. Yeah. I was, um, I was taking a little nappy poo. I was having a dream about... Uh, about oh, disappointing your my, friends. My man, my man, my man put on his whole sleeping cap. Oh my god. Yeah, dead ass. I was going honk shoe, yeah. honk shoe. Has anyone made this joke? Like no. Going honk shoe, honk shoe. And you, you better sleep? not, because I'm going to I'm gonna post that, and I'm going to get 50,000 likes, then I'm going to get accused of harassing women. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Um, I'm, um, I'm so sorry. Like, I thought I was only harassing those women in my dreams. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I was harassing the woman of my dreams. I'm, being, um, I'm, I'm like I'm like the Freddy Krueger of being casually but noticeably weird. I don't I don't kill anyone. I just put my hand in my pants and stare at people. Yeah, woman of my dreams. I Freddy Krueger with his like hand in his cr- pants, completely mangling his thing. <laughs> um, speaking of speaking of my thing, I came up with a really good business idea what's your business um, Ooh, what is it? it um so it's like fake it's a gag gift mm-hmm. like fake vomit mm-hmm. um but it's a it's a plastic fake cum shot with a little <laughs> <laughs> with a little tail that you can stick up your pee hole so you can your friends <laughs> into thinking you've done a big load <laughs> and you can like put it on looking... you know you can like Put it on your friend's face while they're asleep, and they wake up and they think you've come shot all over their face. But it's just a little when, piece of plastic that you stuck up your dick hole. I could. I think that's only 20... good for taking pictures, though. I think. I think you. Uh, you take a picture of somebody with a plastic cum shot, and you're like, "Oh, dude, check this out. Brad totally did a cum <laughs> shot on you while you were sleeping." Yeah. I'm. I'm gonna make a gag fake taxi. It's just a. <laughs> <laughs> it we also should start the a. Fake cum- a line of a line of sexual gag yeah. gifts for the new generation. I, it's pretty funny I, that frat brothers pay like five hundred dollars a month to casually yeah. sexually assault each other. Yeah, <laughs> I, that would be honestly just getting a, a shirt that just has the fake taxi logo on it and nothing else. <laughs> I don't know why that would be funny to me, but that would be funny. It just says fake taxi on it. <laughs> That was reminding because I saw I was walking and I saw someone had a bumper sticker of just the Hot Ones logo on it, and I was like, "Do you like it that much?" <laughs> it's like I love interviews, man. It's like I guess, I guess you love those interviews. Um, it's, it's doing like you know how that thing where people will go like, "Why would you watch people play video games instead of just playing video games yourself? Why would you watch people eat hot wings instead of just eating some hot wings yourself?" <laughs> yeah. I bet, that, those, yeah, I I bet I those wings are so cold. I mean, like I can I yeah. can eat hot wings, but I can't eat hot wings at the highest level. You know, like these guys are. I can't. Yeah. These guys are the I hot just wing can't, experts. I just can't eat them if other people are watching. You know, I get self conscious. <laughs> yeah, I can't eat them if, if Matt Damon's in the room. <laughs> Mukbangs yeah. are like the esports of uh, of eating. 
Yeah. It's like, I can't do what I, this um, guy's doing. Yeah. They, uh, another business idea. It's Nick like Hot One. Avocado is the, the esports of eating. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Hot Ones, but um, instead of eating spicy wings, you're sitting in a dentist chair, and they just keep injecting more Novocaine into your mouth. <laughs> <with every question. laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, it's like drunk history, but yeah. it's just like, yeah. You know what would actually be a really good prank is... Um, injecting somebody with a bunch of Novocaine and then telling them that they got their wisdom teeth removed when they didn't and see if they felt any <laughs> mouth pain like their brain just tricked them. <laughs> that would be so, just, um, Yeah. E- even without, uh, like, Novocaining them, just while your friend's drunk and passed out, just wrapping a bunch of gauze around their head and telling them yeah. that they were drunk and like, you took them to get their wisdom teeth taken. <laughs> yeah, dude, you asked me. You were too anxious. No, you were like you were like completely freaking out about wanting your wisdom teeth out. I didn't know what yeah. to do. <laughs> I, um, what was the, oh, yeah, this is like a thing that I tried to get to work at open mics, but I couldn't quite get the joke to work, but just about like, uh, if you ever, like, volunteering as a firefighter, and then if you ever saving someone, like, if you ever save someone, like, as they're, like, you know, like, regaining consciousness as you're, like, holding them outside a burning building, you're just like, welcome to hell, you died. <laughs> <laughs> you, I'm, I'm here to bring you to hell, yeah. and, uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, you know who was right? Zoroastrians. Tough shit, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm the devil, I'm carrying you into hell right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fuck, I forgot what I was going to say. Um, oh, no, I was going to, on the topic of fake, I think there were, like, I did look up, because it was when, like, the, uh, it was when there were, like, there were a bunch of politicians at the Minnesota State Fair, it was in, like, 2019, I just thought about, like, I was, like, looking up, like, how easy it would be to make, like, fake cum and put it in, like, a big gulp, and then, like, have one of my friends push me and see, like, <laughs> if I could just, like, accidentally spill, like, all my fake cum on Pete Buttigieg or something, <laughs> like, could that work? And I'm just like all apologetic. I'm like, I'm so sorry, Mister. My uh, my smoothie must have just. And there's just like, yeah. I just had like one of those like 120 ounce things full of fake cum. Did you guys hear? Uh, like... Speaking of people who politicians who were accused of killing dogs, you hear that uh, Doctor Oz ran some experiments that killed over 330 dogs. Yeah. Did you hear that Doctor Paz, his uh, gay alter ego, uh, actually spilled real cum all over a bunch of voters <laughs> and it gave them AIDS? Um, what if What if I, I told you that there was a simple, cheap, and effective substance to take away your gag reflex? <laughs> yeah. I I love the thing that I love that he got outed as like uh, saying like some medical conference that like it's technically okay incest isn't really damaging if like it's with your first cousin which um i know that's something that like my grandpa told me and he's also a medical doctor so i assume it's like technically true like genetic risk wise but it's so funny that he said that it's like yeah dude you can't say that like if you're gonna become a politician like they fucking got you on that. Yeah, if um, anyone, like, asked me a question about incest with a camera on, I'm just gonna go somewhere else. I don't really know yeah. how you're well, supposed but to he was just like, You know, a guys, doctor it's, it's technically top. okay to put um, your brother's poop in your mouth. It is <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, you, it is just like... You share similar enough DNA that it's actually totally acceptable. It's fine. You're you know, it's actually... Like, it's, it's okay like, to drink your own pee once. Dr. Oz my... talks like a straight guy impersonating a gay guy impersonating a straight guy. <laughs> yeah. My, um... My... You know, well, my grandpa did tell me the thing about how it's okay if you're first cousin, but then he also did tell me that, uh... He said that 50%... He said that for, like brother sister like incest cases like 50 percent of the time the baby is super fucked up but then 50 percent of the time the baby is a genius <laughs> <laughs> it's like i don't know about that one grandpa I really good. is that what happened yeah. to stephen hawking <laughs> i guess he i don't know both. he became super funny i guess yeah, that's what genius. happened in yeah. like europe all yeah no that's, like... that's all of like the the fucking like louis the 14th style monarchs who've just like conquered fucking everywhere and were like basically yeah. like treated like gods they were the genius ones and uh yeah. all the other guys were uh they were the you're, you're only all, shit out of luck if you're an only birds. child like yeah you can just if you have like if you have like three siblings and like three of them are just like droolers but like you you know you aren't then like that that's a pretty sound way of it working i don't um, like dr- droolers is like a new slur 
the yeah, kind of person you're talking about there. I really don't enjoy that. It's like you're you're talking yeah. about a zombie subclass. <laughs> I forget what chatruli <laughs> means in in Russian. Someone's gonna correct me on that. Um, anyway, uh, speaking of uh, speaking of sex, I was on. Uh, <laughs> guess who was on Porn Free and No Fap, learning how to uh, learning how to be a better man. Louis the Fourteenth. Not me. I I've guess been, I've been popping them things off. Oh fuck! Actually, that reminds me. It reminds me of the the earlier thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, using using a fake cum gag on the guys on No Fab. <laughs> like, Psych. Don't worry, guys. Psych. Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> um, no, it was uh, cause someone or who is the uh, who's the first person who's the uh, who's the first uh, like cancel or who's the, like. Who's the first person you saw get canceled on Twitter for being like a weirdo or abuser? Because mine was Connor Golden. Uh, mine was uh, Lana Del Rey Theon, I think. Oh, okay, yeah, you were a bit earlier than me, but not by that much. Yeah, I don't even Guess. remember what they did. I think I was like, I think I they had were like just joined like the day after it happened, and I just saw the yeah, jokes well, about it. And half like, of those are like it's like someone that has raped someone, and then the other half it's like they were just creepy to women. In, like, an innocent way. Yeah, like, the but ethics the, department like, didn't do shit. anything, like... Yeah, no, well... Moral he, didn't, he didn't ask... He was just, like... Yeah, he just asked yeah, women for their they birthdays. Just had, they just had sex with their brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fine to do. <laughs> you know, the he, the, he the ethics department is their... the Freddy Krueger who shows up in your dreams and is weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, he, just, he just pops up while you're sleeping and he, like, creeps up behind you and he's like... Do you like mail? <laughs> <laughs> Um, but, What's yeah. your favorite anyway. stamp? Sexually. <laughs> I was gonna, yeah. Sexual someone stamp. just like, I was like referring to, I like referenced Connor Golden once and then someone out of nowhere just like DM'd me and asked me who he was and it was, uh, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go into that because it was someone that probably I shouldn't be, I'll tell you guys It'd after. It'd be really funny to that. do that with like somebody who got cancelled but is actually famous. Like yeah. somebody's <laughs> like, who the fuck is Kevin Spacey? <laughs> Who's yeah. R? Like, do I still have to like? Do I have to fo- unfollow R. Kelly? <laughs> yeah. Dude, are you telling me no. Judas Iscariot is a bad guy? I was such a fan of his music. <laughs> Judas Iscariot, but like, yeah, no. I was, I was gonna think of like, a, I was gonna say there was like some weird pun name spelling of Judas Iscariot. That's the guy that would get canceled, but I don't think there is one. Besides, yeah, yeah, he, he well, never, he Judas never changed. Spookia. Yeah. It's damn spooky season, dude. You could just go yeah, scared. It's his fucking name. He's so oh scared. yeah, Fuck. dumb piece of shit. <laughs> his name is Iscariot. I'm, oh my god. Yeah, Jews are Iscariot. That's my <gasps> anti-Semitic DSA <Yeah>. name. <laughs> Jews, Jews are Iscariot national... is what he told the Roman police. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when he killed Jesus Christ. <laughs> my my DS or uh, my DNSA name, the Democratic National Socialists of America, <laughs> is Jews are Iscariot. Um, that I I can make that joke because I'm a uh, part of the National Socialist. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Um, I only watch porn, but no masturbation. I have problem of erectile dysfunction. If I had been watching porn. Or and masturbating on it, I would have understood. But I only watch porn, but no masturbation. I don't even touch my dick. Last time I masturbated on porn was last year. Then why do I have this problem? Other than this, I have noticed problem of weakness or getting tired easily. If I don't masturbate and don't let semen out and only watch pee, then why is it happening? <laughs> this is on porn free. <laughs> That's so funny. This guy uh, thinks he's getting mind waves from seeing yeah. groups. Yeah, it's just it's just that porn has like special signals in it that Yeah, that he's just your, watching porn but not yeah. not masturbating. The, he's just the like, new world yeah. order is putting uh it's putting brain waves in the cum shots. Yeah. <laughs> I also <laughs> want to know why he's watching porn but not like not masturbating. He's just like, "Oh, this is interesting." He's <laughs> taking notes and learning moves. Yeah. <laughs> he's doing film. 
Yeah, the only the only time that you should be watching porn and not masturbating is when you're uh is when you're look you're watching uh Pierce Paris video to reply to someone with. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, when you're in like one, I do. one of those one of those awesome DMs where you share the worst porn ever all day. <laughs> yeah, one of those that's yeah, fine. That makes, it's only that makes your yeah, brain it's only, the only time you only should be uh, watching porn and not masturbating is when you need to really quickly tab away from the Photoshop you are making of yourself riding a legendary Pokemon into battle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah just back to gay porn and they're like oh he's normal there's no right quays there i don't know what you're talking about man it's just this dude yeah. getting his ass blown out yeah mm. so said, you're still getting visually stimulation from it from watching it think about it the more you watch something the more even non-pornographic films i like this one guy replied off. that's literally the opposite of what you should be doing um which what? implies that he should be watching po- not watching porn but masturbating <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he should not be watching porn and just popping boners. <laughs> you got any oh, old I guess, pinup I guess, comics? I guess you got any weird spots free. on it's the not, wall that look like a pussy? <laughs> it's not no, uh, it's not no fat, but it's porn free. So they they should be concerned about this guy. Although, I'm not quite <laughs> sure. Maybe he's just like, look, I I don't masturbate, but I love the part about porn where women get abused and exploited. <laughs> I'm I'm just for that part. It's imagining like um, a world where. You know, you can't watch porn. So I guess, I guess like the 1800s, and they're you know you're just like selling. You know, there's like, whoa! I woke up this morning, there was a spot on the wall that looked like a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> you're sending it to the surface. Yeah. Turn the line outside your door to look at the spot yeah. on your wall that looks like a. Well, the a solution vagina. to that was uh, was like you wake up and it's like, whoa! There's one of my 13 siblings that's a girl. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, there's also somebody who says, uh, this is a different post, but it's somebody who says, stay the fuck away from Twitter. Almost relapse just because people be retweeting straight up porn. I don't think that was actually, You're following uh, the wrong. I don't think anybody was actually retweeting porn. It's just that Overwatch 2 comes out today and people are so used yeah. to associating it with porn that he just saw Farah <laughs> and was like, oh fuck, I gotta turn away. Unless this, yeah, no, that's not a problem unless you're following guys that are like into porn. <laughs> like, unless he was following Palma or Big it's, Dave. It's really hard to be r slash porn free when all of my best friends are porn stars. <laughs> yeah. I just, I want to be supportive, but I don't know how. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. Also, can you just, like, turn, like, NSFW stuff off on Twitter? I mean, it's like... I mean, you can just... I think, like... Not when click I, the link to unblur. Yeah. It. Like, you can just yeah. scroll past it. Yeah, or it's just, like... Or, unless it's, like, yeah, it's something you can just scroll past. It's, like, maybe it's just someone, like, fucking with you. And in that case, like, take the joke, man. Maybe it's me replying. Maybe it's, this is someone I disagree with, and I'm replying to him <laughs> with that skateboard video. Um, yeah. Anyway, what was the, uh, does someone want to read the, the Winston Churchill one? Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this Jesus is- Christ. <laughs> this is... <laughs> This is in our NoFap by user the Fapstronaut two thousand. Mm-hmm. Uh, tagged motivation. Winston Churchill's speeches motivate me to the bone, so I just recommend that to you if you need to if you need some motivation to quit this addiction and learn to hate porn, just changes Hitler's references to porn. <laughs> and then porn will never land on our beaches. Yeah. And then <laughs> someone someone in the comments says Hitler banned porn. <laughs> oh. <shit>. Yeah. <laughs> Hitler's said. speeches motivate me to the bone. <laughs> Hitler yeah, honestly, like, Hitler's the way, speeches are if there are videos of a guy with a, a skateboard with a dildo on it going into his ass, you're not allowed to watch that. <laughs> it's, got, it's like, yeah, like I'm, all, I'm banning like, that. All of the normal anti-Semitic propaganda, yeah. but instead of like the really long noses, it's all naked Jews with giant dicks hanging <laughs> on. Yeah, I get motivated when I when I see those pictures after Hitler con- conquered Paris, and I imagine him conquering Pierce Paris. Yes. Uh, somebody <laughs> says Jordan Petersons are very motivational as well, and he is very good at articulating his thoughts as well, so it hits even harder. And OP responded, <laughs> it's yes, harder, huh? he has been a good for my journey as well. I'm currently reading his book. He expresses a lot by writing as well. Check it out if you haven't, and strengths to you in this fight. <laughs> I mean, he to be fair, I can't imagine getting horny after watching Jordan And at least Peterson Winston talk. Churchill can get through a fucking speech without crying. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Well, guys... to be fair, it's like you're probably not gonna like like if you're if you're watching porn and you see someone crying, like nine ten nine out of ten guys are not gonna be more turned on by that. So you know, there's less <laughs> risk. Have you guys um, ever had anyone recommend you, um, like watch a Jordan Peterson video in real life? No, no, but I did have someone recommend that I go to sex.com for the best porn. <laughs> <laughs> My therapist was like, hey, you should watch this, this, these videos by this guy, Actually, Jordan Peterson, about uh, conquering anxiety. And I didn't yeah, want to be... You're... Like a, <laughs> annoying and be like, um, I know about him from the computer, and he's actually really problematic. So yeah, he's, he's a, a try recommending a guy who's not cringe. Yeah, um, the the I the bet you watch the Try Guys the, too. <laughs> <laughs> the the guy that uh, the guy that recommended porn dot com is the guy that I think did recommend me Prager U once. Yeah. It'd be really funny <laughs> to do that with like other like right wing YouTube people though, like recommending people John Tron videos to conquer their depression. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just think they're funny. Yeah. <laughs> Are you 13 years old? <laughs> he's he's um, actually got really good comedic timing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, some of that early stuff was kind of funny, but, you know. I, uh, yeah. Apparently, apparently, someone, like, yeah, someone, I forget even the context, but someone, like, just posted a compilation of every time John trying to set the N-word on Game Grumps, and it was, like, 30 times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that is pretty funny Gus do you want to read the, the next one uh if you say please please thank you I need you to answer this alright this one's on r slash go porn get some water. am I gay oh god damn it of course Charlie's making me read this one you <laughs> fucking piece of shit I hate you alright weird question I know but V been really confused for a long time Ever since I was a kid, I've always found men attractive. All right, well, that probably means you're a little bit gay. Like most people on here, I started porn. I will say my porn habit is definitely not as bad as a lot of people on here, and I can control myself to a degree, but I do slip up. Where my confusion comes in is the fact that I only like to look at pictures of men kissing or men in their underwear making out. I'm not. <laughs> yes, dude. You're I think gay. You're gay. <laughs> that is that is like the most clear definition. Am I gay if I like having sex with men and then when they put their penis <laughs> in my butthole? But I only I'm like gay, but the way that a nine-year-old. Like if if I am literally incapable of coming unless I am looking at a picture of a of a hot shirtless man, am I gay? <laughs> 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 hey guys, hey guys, uh, if, if the little disc on the top of my ceiling is making a loud beeping noise, do I need to check my stove? <laughs> I'm not into hardcore porn and stuff. I also have a little fascination with men and their underwear, and men's underwear in general. Dude, oh. are you fucking <laughs> God fucking damn it. Pretty cool. <laughs> do, do bears go other place to poop? <laughs> Do bears go construction site to poop? Bears poop on the moon? Question mark. <laughs> I don't know if porn made me this way or if I am gay. Well, you started this quest this question with ever since I was a kid, I've always found men attractive. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I am a masculine guy who likes to go to the gym, and I'm a welder, but I do have some gay tendencies. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this guy downloads... What fucking gay like, tendencies like do you have? He's a gym rat welder. He downloads Grinder. He will be just knee-deep in dick in, like, five seconds. Like, Jesus <laughs> Christ. You will have your pick of the fucking litter, man. I don't know if this is yeah. just because of porn and if I can fix myself, but the thought of having intercourse with a man is not appealing to me, despite me finding <laughs> men attractive. Can you make up your fucking mind? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, dude? How, how are you fucking in, like, this sexually attracted to men and you're just like, yeah, I don't want to fuck them, though. No. I don't think it's like... It'd be really funny okay. if this guy, like was just, like, like, you know how, like, some people just have, like, just absolutely, like, insane fear of, like, deep water or heights or whatever? He's yeah. just like that with AIDS. Yeah, like deep dick. <laughs> like, he's so scared of it that he's just like, it'll only happen if I have gay sex. And I can never ever yeah. do it, it's not appealing to me. Yeah. Um, and then I think, is that it? I think, yeah. Um, 
So yeah, someone says, uh, the manic mother says, I don't think porn can necessarily make you gay. <laughs> if anything, it'd possibly bring you to light those inner feelings. You could be bisexual. There's plenty of plate men who have more feminine qualities, but it's nothing to be shamed of. Society will t tell men to oppress the side of themselves and to man up. The way our society is progressing, I see nothing wrong with it. So, okay, they're just being, like, you know, nice. Hey, guys, I drank um, 17 beers. Is my head feel spinny? <laughs> hey, guys, I drank 17 cups of cum. Am I gay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, yo, yeah. bartender, can you I... get me uh, two of the cum shots, please? <laughs> and he, then, um... uh... This guy posted oh. in r slash ask old people two days ago. He said, to those who completely reinvented themselves, what? how old were you when you decided to change? How did you change? What is this and a question what made for... you want to reinvent yourself? This is, this oh, is a question was... for fucking Gandalf. Yeah. <laughs> and he also, uh, he sort of answered his own question seven days ago after posting that 23 days ago in Ex Mormon. How do you get over gay shame? Aww. So, uh, Aww. and this is after oh, he was, 10 days oh, ago. He was raised in a conservative a... southern environment. Oh, buddy. And this is after 10 oh, days ago Christian posting Walker. an r slash. <laughs> yeah, after posting an r slash tidy whitey is a picture of him in underwear. And after doing that a lot, and after people requested that he do that more. Wow. It looks like he's been posting pictures of himself in his underwear for about a month. Wait, and then one before of, that, we're talking one about of the welding and attack on the pictures on Titan. of him shirtless is, you can't beat a pair of full cut white briefs on a man with thick thighs, a nice tush, and an ample package. <laughs> God. <laughs> ample yeah, package. He did not go to the right pl I mean, to be fair, I don't think he was, uh, he didn't go to, he wasn't, he wasn't coming here to uh, get rid of the gay thoughts. He was sort of confronting them head on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, by doing this. Um, this guy's only only two types of posts, and it's asking old people shit like, "Do you have a life philosophy?" And then pictures of him in his underwear. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> this is mine. I feel. I I like that he's you know kind of coming to terms with himself. I'm glad he's not. No, you know what? I 100 percent support this guy. Let's go. Yeah, so, I want to have sex with this guy. Let's support him. Yeah, let's all fuck him on the show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> his, his first, his first post that he made on this Reddit account is: Do y'all wear respirators while welding? <laughs> one yeah. other guy in my class does. <laughs> I bought one, but it's big and doesn't fit under my helmet. I'm not trying to get lung cancer or anything, so I want to know how dangerous yeah. is it. <laughs> Did you guys get to the libertarian "Don't tread on me" edit with the Attack on Titan character? I, I did. Sure have. I, I also. Sorted uh, uh, tidy whities by controversial, and the most controversial posts are mainly by a a, a very heavy set man uh -huh. whose uh, penis pokes out. <laughs> <laughs> is he wearing? Is he like hanging well, the some penis of the pictures out over are the tidy whities, or putting, is he just naked? Putting his tidy white. Uh, the the most controversial top two are him putting his tidy whities over his gut, and then. Uh, the next ones are just of him with his tidy whities around his legs or his dick poking out of them. Uh, I, I hope that, yeah. Some of these are just too despicable to describe. And then one, a man has edited himself as Captain Underpants. No, <laughs> oh, that's what I would do. Because I, I play like that. Yeah. yeah. Griffin, I'm, I'm, Griffin always someone is, that silly uh, shit. I'm silly and Someone goofy. is advertising their wedgie slave merch. I would love to send, uh, like... Flipperama nudes. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. can swipe back and forth on your phone really quick, quick and I'm jacking yeah. off. Well, this man has put out cigarettes on his uh, his underwear. Well, Do, doing the Flipperama, but it's, it's one shot of the guy where his dick is in his underpants, and the, the other one is where it's poking out. And so yeah. it looks like it's rapidly retreating back and forth into his body. Yeah. All right. That's, uh, yeah. That's you know that's how I know I'm not gay because I'm I've gone on enough of those awful subreddits that uh, any attraction I've, I've I I have to men has just been uh, you know just horrifically suppressed by yeah. uh, Charlie's by looking Charlie's at those attractions awful and pictures. Had his back blown out. It really did. <laughs> by you a know big any guy. yeah any any yeah when I when I sorted r slash gay bros gone wild and I saw some of the most. <laughs> Horrible things a man's body can do. <laughs> I uh, but let me tell you, any attraction I might have had towards men was ejaculating yeah. into another guy's mouth, metaphorically speaking. Yeah, that's like I think that's the only like, cause like that whole super straight thing was like dumb and homophobic, but like that's the only way I think that you can like actually fortify like your heterosexuality if you wanted to. It's like you need to prove that you've like 
you're not attracted to them in any way. Because if you're just saying, like, oh, yeah, I love fucking girls, man, like, that just makes you sound insecure. Charlie, you just said um, I love fucking girls. Pause. What? Bruh. Bruh. That was um, bruh, God damn it! I need to go back on. I, I need to go back bruh. on Gay Bros bruh. Gone Wild to sort I some things saying, out. I stopped saying bruh for a couple months then. I started saying it <laughs> yeah, again. And it's yeah, the, the hurricane really had out. me backsliding into a rough place. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna Time read to go the last note. That one. <laughs> like turning, <laughs> turning in your, turning in your, turning in your fucking uh, your three months chip to brokeaholics anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> the, guy, gonna... the guy just takes it and he looks at it and looks at you in the eyes and he goes, "Bruh," and he's like, "Oh fuck!" And he turns... <laughs> <laughs> Jesse Jesse Pinkman selling meth at Brooke Hollis Anonymous. <laughs> uh, I only call yeah. Well, who did you sell bra to? <laughs> the, I'm the I'm the I'm the head hawk at bra Hollis Anonymous. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Um. I'm gonna read this last one from NoFap. Uh, day 38, dick is small now. Dick <laughs> dropped to a very small size. I am going hard mode and there's no way I'm nutting. It's going to take a very hot woman to unleash him now. He only deserves the best and will wait until the right one now. I don't think that's how your dick's getting smaller. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going hard mode and no way I'm nutting. <laughs> <laughs> People are pointing out like your your dick your dick shouldn't be getting smaller because of no fab. <laughs> <laughs> I think it should. I think that should be yeah. the trade off. Actually, you know what? No one's saying that. That's uh, that that's it... just something they've all sort of accepted. Maybe that is true. Yeah, that it, that no fab does give you superpowers, but it makes your dick go away, like just yeah. out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm glad they're all doing this themselves. Yeah, you just like yeah, like a girl just takes off your pants and you have like like a literal micro penis. Like it just looks like it just looks like an Audi belly button, and you're like, nah, not not girl. You know, there's, there's the just right like one, a little hole there, grow. and she gets like sucked inside, like the ghost of Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> um, someone says, yeah. bro, dead yeah, get ass, ready for Slimer, <laughs> bro, dead ass, tan your cock and balls in the sun, and it makes it ten times bigger. It looks like <laughs> what? <that's> really well. <laughs> yeah, what is? What are they doing? Yeah, I, I, they I, just like. They just like have they like make a, a glory hole in like their their frame like their their door and you just like see they're they're just like penis and balls like <laughs> on the outside of their front door like a knocker. <laughs> it it's so funny that people do that because um, as like as far as the medical community know the only mo- knows the only thing that does is give you insane cancer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, insane that probably that makes sense. Taint. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sir, sir, you have exactly one and a half testicles. What have you been doing? <laughs> yeah, two, I have two. Uh, yeah, two sir, testicles. your dick is bigger, but it's from all those tumors that you have now. <laughs> yeah. It's... All right. Can we? Uh, I'm, I'm I'm looking at the next subreddit you linked, and I kind of want to get into this. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is in. This R is in R slash try guys, uh, and apparently Which they, they have the guy not that... they have not removed the guy who cheated from their uh, from their subreddit image yet. Yeah, yeah, Try Guys is what the first guy we talked about that was ex-Mormon is going to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is about a guy. The, these people are all um, going completely insane because someone uh, was cheating on their wife completely sen- uh, cons- yeah. completely sensually. <laughs> it's so <laughs> sensually like, cheating. Like, video they put out addressing it yesterday? Yeah, it's insane. They're talking it was, about they it. They were like, doing the like, like, like Joseph guy. Stalin fucking like levels of like we're gonna digitally erase him from every video yeah they're ever yeah shopping we're gonna wipe his fucking digital footprint off the face of the fucking earth yeah <laughs> don't you dare ever cheat on your yeah it's like it, don't, i don't know it's it, i mean it, it's not I think good to cheat funny. on your wife but it's <laughs> It's not like I guess it's not like morally bad. It's it's well, it's, mean, like, it's, it's like it's like an image but... thing. It's like when a fucking like Disney star does like gets caught smoking weed for the first time. It's it's yeah, like not it's not they, that it's morally not when bad. They get it's caught like being their whole Dan image Schneider. is like we're we're it's just it. a bunch of trustworthy, happy fellas who are oh yeah anti problematic. And when like one of them does yep. like anything bad, no. like they just fucking like all like simultaneously rise like for a deca and like take. Yeah. I think Ned Fulmer's dead. I think they ripped yeah, it apart. Yeah. 
it's it's like when um it, it's like when like a uh, like a member of a K-pop group says fuck and then they just like waterboard them. Yeah. Can you imagine like what happens when something comes out about Travis McElroy? Can you <laughs> yeah. even imagine? They're gonna like throw him into a volcano. Yeah. <laughs> no, we, he's, he's we gonna are rise from the by volcano. Travis's he's... behavior of cheating on his wife with a twelve-year-old boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, Travis, Travis McElroy is, like, fucking, he's just gonna, he's just going to, uh, sit atop, like, a throne of skulls or something in response to that. Like, he's gonna, I don't think anyone's gonna take him down. It's he's not, gonna, yeah. It's not fun you just for see me, him, this yeah. style of play. <laughs> yeah, you just see, like, you just see that he's gotten, like, a new, he's got like, a new haircut, and then you can sort of, like, make out that he just also got a Durlowanger Brigade tattoo. <laughs> yeah. It's like, wait... Travis, what's that? I actually, I think he's it's part get of my philosophy on now. On anyone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, I can't believe Ned would do this. Y'all straight up forgetting he's a frat boy. This is one hundred percent in line with his background and character. <laughs> now, I want to know by frat boy, do they mean that he's a guy that like um, has like some kind of muscle tone? I'm pretty sure no. it just means like like because he wouldn't be a try guy if that yeah. were the case. I think he is. I know he that's just he's been betraying. Like, He's betraying them by, like, not being, like, completely soft to the touch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, like, the stereotype, this is really funny because, like, you can tell they're, most, like, guys who are in frats are just, like, regular guys. Like, they probably right. yeah. are, like, on average, like, a little bit richer, but for the most part, they're just, like, mm-hmm. normal people who you can hang out with. Uh, but it's, like, the people on r slash try guys, like, their only image of a frat <laughs> guy is, like, the guys from, like, 80s college movies. And so they're like, Ned Fulmer was probably smashing beer cans against his skull and then swallowing them whole like a rattlesnake. Yeah. Pushing his, yeah. getting his friends drunk and pushing them down the stairs. <laughs> Why would Ned Fulmer do this? <laughs> yeah. Oh, apparently yeah. he's from Jacksonville, Florida. Isn't that, yeah. isn't that great? <laughs> Were either of you in frats? No. Um, I could see Gus being in one. <laughs> Gus is in one of the top grad school frats. Yeah. <laughs> Getting fucking wasted with the other uh, the other postdoc. <laughs> yeah. I, was, uh, I watched the Social Network uh, the other day, and it's it's good. That's like being a frat. Oh it's wait, like, this well, is... they they talk about being in the the Harvard Finals clubs or final clubs, like like they're frats. Um, but apparently, it's just like clubs for people with rich dads to be like, we should invent uber for buses <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> wait can i can, there are some really good comments in here that i want to go yeah. over yeah. um yes. so dinosaurus derp says <laughs> ned, awesome let's go <laughs> ned is insufferably obnoxious and i think him screwing up this badly is a blessing in disguise ned ruined so many videos by being a jackass and i'm glad he got fired <laughs> lol yeah. Um, this I was, I was is, wait, there's there's scene, somebody though. who says not all frat guys are like that though. I have plenty of frat brothers that are genuine good dudes, and the OP responds, "Did you really just not all frat guys me?" <laughs> um, <laughs> there's like ten million frat guys. <laughs> yeah, and they're all and they're all Hitler. They all have Hitler particles. He was yeah. he's a frat there's ten boy. million Somebody frat says, guys. Like, the same number of guys that were in the Wehrmacht. <laughs> Somebody says he's a frat boy at Yale. That doesn't count, um, which is not true because the first thing that arguably comes to my that counts mind is more. Frat boy at Yale is Brett Kavanaugh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, wait. Actually, I'm sort of on their side now. If he's a frat boy at Yale, then frat I actually think Yale. that does reflect badly on yeah. him. Go, go, go. Do your homework, you fucking dork. Yeah, I, yeah. I thought he was at like Ohio State, and it's like, oh, that's fine. But no, if he went to Yale, then he's like already at. How did someone? Only an Ivy League school would let you into a frat with the name Ned. Ned. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, hey guys, you, you want to hang out with Ned, Ned Flanders. <laughs> his name is Ned Flanders. <laughs> yeah, head um, Someone said on the Spaghetti Tub episode of Try Guys in December, at the very end, spaghetti Ned, head? <laughs> Ned obviously oh, spaghetti stretches Ned. out his body all the way to place his head in Alex's lap on camera in front of multiple other employees. Surely eyebrows have been raised for a long time. So why hasn't this been stopped? Also, Will knew they had hooked up earlier. Did Ariel get that information, or is September when she found out? <laughs> oh, Alex is the person he. Yeah, Alex with. is. Yeah, the... it didn't help that he put his his head on her lap and then started eating her out. <laughs> I was um, it's unrelated, but I was laughing really hard about like just a uh, 
about thinking about like a pedophile that like just says, "Oh yeah, that good dick," <laughs> and everyone's just like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Like just, just just a pedophile that talks like those weird guys, like, like those like fucking creepy guys on Twitter. That's like, "Yo, when you eat her out and she be squirming," uh, like just a pet. It's like, yeah, uh, <laughs> damn. When she in preschool, yo, yo. that's crazy. <laughs> This in, this, in, so... this in a sippy cup. <laughs> yeah, this is a sippy cup. Yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. I think it's just like the fr- like yeah, just like the yeah, just what? like a guy saying like good dick or like, and then he's just a <laughs> pedophile. <laughs> what the fuck does this mean? OMG, the douchiness of her of his body language in those leaked photos. It really is a complete one eighty from how he presents himself on the Try Guys channel. Well, what? yeah. Wait, did, <laughs> doing... did they think that he was gonna be like doing a soy face in his news? Yeah, <laughs> they were doing body language analysis on Ned Fulmer. Yeah, damn. Um... Have you seen the poppy the paparazzi photos and videos of him and Ariel today? I wanted to punch the smile off his face so much. <laughs> okay, you also have to jack okay. off to get to class. Bye, bye, Gus. Bye, Gus. Um. Wow, this is really a, this is a the revolving hate... door episode. <laughs> yeah. All right, I have to leave. We're uh, we're getting Patrick back on. Yo. Um, yeah. Chinese, By the way, guys, listen Chinese to the... podcast drill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're getting or uh, yeah, we're introducing a Chinese version of the show. Oh, dude, I we actually, should outsource I was, this um, show to China, and then we. You know what I was thinking about? Is I was thinking about using the Patreon money to uh, just like. Like, just have it, like, like use it to cover, like, some of the costs of, like, hosting and stuff, but then all the rest of it just goes into advertising in Nigeria. Yeah. <laughs> we should, um... Like, just, like, just dump it directly into Spotify ads, like, for us in Nigeria. Oh, I know what we should and do. Then get... We should, um, save up all the money and then, um, use it to purchase a cameo. And then have them just <laughs> say, like, a bunch of generic responses and edit the audio and, and, and pretend that we have... We got like one of the better call Saul people on the show. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Um, no, no, no. You know what? My idea was is uh, it's related to cameo. Is just to uh, find a cameo for like a celebrity that you don't like and ask them to uh, to say happy birthday to your friend uh, Steve Vinegar from the <laughs> Department of Agriculture. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, it's just, yeah, Bob Odenkirk being like, hey, Jimmy Vinegar, uh, <laughs> it's a big shout out to you. Keep working in the Department of Agriculture. <laughs> <laughs> um. I, uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's okay to do that because Bo Burnham did a joke like that where he got people to say vinegar. I remember that. that I is, remember thinking that was that, really funny in high school. Yeah, no, that's so funny that he became like sort of like a soft, like small comedian, but yeah. like one of his jokes is just getting people to say the N word. Yeah, and he would also just like, you know, he would. He was a freaking edgy for a while. And yeah, he, he was on to... Def Jam. Remember that? Remember <laughs> yeah. his Def Jam special? He was in The Roots. Remember... Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah. Remember all his Opie and Anthony episodes with Patrice? <laughs> yeah, when he was on Stern. He I was, was listening to. I was really bored one day, and I was just listening to the Stern show from nine eleven. <laughs> and there's <laughs> one part where they're like, "Oh, what day is it? September eleventh? Uh, September eleventh? Yeah." And then Stern goes, "A day of some significance in the Arab community, evidently." <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, um. I uh. My my. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, my um. I like I would like make I make this joke sometimes where like if a podcast I think I like last time I do was when like Alan Dershowitz like uh, launched his podcast and I was like I was just like joking with my dad about it I said I was listening to some of those Alan Dershowitz episodes or right, <laughs> those Alan Dershowitz podcast episodes and it's like it's like Patrice was right back in the studio it's like Patrice <laughs> O'Neill and my dad just like turned to me and said why do you always do this joke with patrice o'neill and i was like i don't know dad <laughs> i don't know why i always do it because he's dead yeah i don't know because he's like... dead and very people like him <laughs> what are you... what are... yeah it's like robin williams is back in the studio no fuck off <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, um this post in our tribe but, guys, yeah, is I, a photo too... of the woman ned fulmer cheated I, on his wife with. i just wanted to tell you guys that you 
you guys need to subscribe to the Patreon so that we can get those advertisements in Nigeria going. Oh, for sure. Because I would love for our first, like, live show to not be at, like, some shitty bar in, like, Boston or Minneapolis, but to be in Lagos, Nigeria. <laughs> like, that would be great. Yeah, we should, um... Yeah, um, we should, yeah. like, perform. We should do a tour of I Africa. Would be... I would love to only do a tour of Africa. Yeah. <laughs> um, I would love to go to the Tigray region. Um, <laughs> that is not doing too well right now, but it'll do better after our, our good riffs. Yeah. Anyway. After uh, we... Yeah, you have to pay in lithium. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to read this again? I think I cut you off. No, yeah, that's fine. Um, this is a photo of the woman uh, Ned Farmer Alex cheated on his wife with. And it says, it simply says, she's so pretty. I totally get why he cheated. <laughs> yeah. It's also like clearly zoomed in from an Instagram picture. Like it's not like a profile of her. It looks like it's just like a screenshot from a video. Like she's in the middle yeah, of talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then someone said, Alex, stop posting on Reddit, which is kind of a funny comment. <laughs> someone said, Ariel is a goddess compared to her. <laughs> is she? We're going to find out. Um, I don't know what... It... Yeah, I basically um, don't even freaking know who these people are, because I'm a grown-up. Yeah, um, we're going to look at a picture, and we're going to tell. She's a... Uh... Oh, here's a... From uh, the Try Guys wiki. Um, which I want to... Yeah, we can... Hold on, what's on, what's on the Try Guys wiki? Oh, the, a comment 17 hours ago. Uh, my MO is usually vandalism and being an asshole, but please respect her and her privacy. This poor woman is going through the most... One of the most emotionally tragic things you can, and very publicly, too. She deserves time to grieve and gather herself. I would normally, uh... I would normally... They, they uh, um... Just vandalize the shit out of this, but... They kind of look like, um... They they really they look like siblings, Ned and Aaron yeah. Fulmer. They look like siblings who fuck each other. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here's a uh, here's a here's a th- here's a um, here's the v- page on the Try Guys wiki for the Try Wives, which is very funny uh, as a <laughs> as a, a title now, considering what they did. Oh, the t- the yeah. internet is telling me the Try Guys knew to- knew of Ned's affair weeks ago. I mean, this is this goes yeah. this goes deep. You know what I call them is I call them try guys arbeit macht fry because that's what it seems like these <laughs> yeah. days with how awful they are. I mean, who are they going to replace them with? Fucking uh, yeah, um, they're going to replace the most them evil with guy me. of all time. Fucking, and I'm just going to like try doing ironic racism, and then no <laughs> one's going to like it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're just going to all give me the the, the stare. My um my what? I think my sister got a uh, cameo from one of, from the Try Guys for like her birthday or something. Whoa, which one? Do you remember? Yeah, I think it was all of them. Whoa, actually I think it might have been Ned. <laughs> or no, 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 I think it was Eugene. Cool. Um, anyway, on the someone shout comment- out to eating pussy was the thing he said. <laughs> cool. <laughs> no, um, someone uh, commented on the the page for the Try Guys wiki page for. Ariel Fulmer, uh, and she and they said, my MO is usually vandalism and being an asshole, but please respect her and her privacy. Oh, I, I already read that. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I think you missed it. Yeah. Because you're a bad person. I am a bad person. Uh, there's, Sorry. I'm... There's a fucking... Do you have stink bugs where you live? What? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I woke up literally two minutes before <laughs> I joined. I... <laughs> Do you know what they are? They're like shaped like fucking like little shields. I think they're called shield bugs. Oh, um, sometimes we have them where I live. I don't think. God, what messed up my my gain? I'm gonna need to really readjust this. Um, no, there was a but, there, yeah. there were these weird uh, weevils that were walking around our our kitchen for a long time, and we were just like, oh, there's it's just a, a a living in Florida thing. There are bugs everywhere. Yeah. Um, and then no, I, there's, I went to go make some pasta. And uh, there was just, like, literally, like, a thousand bugs in this box of open pasta in the pantry. I wanted Jesus. to kill myself so bad. I know. That fucking sucks so much. I was living by myself, and, like, it's just, like, like this summer. It's, like, it sucks that, like, food just goes bad if you, like, aren't. Yeah, um, I know. If you're not, like, active, if you're not, like, actively eating your food, it gets, it gets bad really yeah. fast. God yeah, forbid you ever, I mean, like, take a break from bananas. Yeah. No, it's like, yeah, it fucking sucks so much. It's like, I'm just going to go to fucking 7-Eleven. Because it's like, 
that's like more economical at like a certain point than like just trying to yeah than just like either eating like pasta every night which fucking sucks or yeah like getting a bunch of like ingredients and then it's like oh i just like yeah i can't do like yeah it fucking yeah. sucks anyway um living at home is goaded uh situation iffy and then the body just says uh um, <laughs> <laughs> I <forget>. um, um. <laughs> i forget where the, yeah uh situation iffy uh try guys getting stiffy uh <laughs> 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 the situation is iffy. Do you guys think Alex is guilty, partially at fault, or not guilty? <laughs> and, and guilty by far. Guilty by literally 18, a thousand votes. <laughs> Eighteen heroes voted uh, for not guilty. I mean, it's bro. She had a whole fiance, and she cheated too. Says someone in the yeah in the replies. Yeah, I think if two married uh, people cheat um, on their their wives with each other it's basically fine you can just like swap i mean i think it's honestly like not the biggest deal granted i don't have a girlfriend but it's fine yeah i mean like i would uh if anyone ever cheated on me i would kill myself but these people just yeah. live on my computer so it's fine yeah i mean honestly like why don't you just like i feel like i feel like you should you get like one before you like you know yeah stop it permanently but bruh still beat them um yeah um yeah like you you try yeah you try another i mean that's like that's a joke that i don't think anyone has made it's like you know they're trying other women oh like, i because think we're kind of the, the first ones up. to make that because they're the try yeah. guys and they're trying other now women. what if they were gay and they were the try guys and they were trying guys there's a joke that no one's made and what if anyway. they were really fat and they were called the try fries and they ate french fries all day <laughs> Yeah, and what if it was five guys burgers and fries? And what if it, and it was, was a six restaurant guys? That because I went I'm to? in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What if it's six guys and it's the Try Guys and then me and then also Darth Vader, <laughs> and we're starting a brand new series? I would watch that. Um, I would watch the fuck out of that. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to read the 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 one that I sent? <laughs> yeah. Just simply, John Mulaney. John Mulaney head ass. <laughs> That's all it says. No upvotes, no comments. It's just John Mulaney. Yeah, John Mulaney. I love defending John Mulaney. John Mulaney does Ironic. need to go to jail for what he's done to to the men in yeah. this country, especially and to especially the women in this country. I love um fucking. How do I always forget what his name is? But Sam is like the best at that. There's like we know like there's like ten guys named Sam on Twitter. Um, yeah, you're gonna, like uh, freaking we're, we're Sam with yeah, it's Sam Pr no, um a uh, mailman stalker. He's like always the best at that. Um at just like finding things to make people upset. <laughs> like uh or no no no. No no defending John Mulaney wasn't him, that was a uh, fucking uh whatever his name is. Oh yeah, Hollow Demore USA. Oh yeah. That, yeah, he would just like yeah, go into go into replies and just like defend John Mulaney. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. Yeah. I mean um, he's you know, he's naturally comedically gifted he just chose to use it up for evil yeah he's like um i don't know he's like I some evil think guy <laughs> one of the one of the funniest things that uh i think like on twitter i've seen which is something i think sam started was uh just insisting that you're having a christian seder because <laughs> <laughs> that was like a thing that like some like fucking like annoying people they were like just a reminder guys uh it's problematic to have a christian seder and then sam would just like reply to them it's like i'm having a christian seder with my friends right now <laughs> i'm having I'm they'd a... be like don't do that do not fucking do that it's like uh, i can't overhear you i'm, I'm having so it. much fun at my christian seder yeah <laughs> i'm having the christian seder on the top shelf so you can't reach me yeah i, I mean being no, no. a I was a Christian shabbos goy as a child and it was yeah. really not a fun <laughs> for me i don't oh, remember you were. a lot <laughs> Every time I think I, um, about it, I black out and my ears start ringing, but... <laughs> we were culturally Jewish as uh, my family. Not like we're genetically Jewish and just didn't practice. Like, uh, we're, you know, like Norwegian and German, but <laughs> we were very Jewish. Just like in that, you know, uh, my dad's like a comedy writer and then um, we didn't like spending money on things. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, <laughs> that um, I was raised... Like... I'm general southern just like god is real it doesn't really matter 
kind of vibes. Yeah. Um, fuck, what was I? Oh, yeah. Honestly, like, yeah, I'm, like, joking when I say that my family is, like, cheap. Um, <laughs> but that actually, you know, it does remind me the one time that, like, it was, like, really bad, which is, uh, we had, we we'd had this minivan for, like, 13 years, and we were, like, all packing in to, like, go to some, like, Christmas lights thing, and, because it's Minnesota, like, like, the, the handles on doors freeze a lot, and, like, I think the, or no, 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 the, the freezing wasn't even the issue. It was just that this, uh, one of the doors on the minivan had just, like, broken off. Or, no, both of them had broken off. And you had to do a thing where you opened the front door, grabbed the inside, and then, like, pushed it. <laughs> and, uh, it was just, like, and, like, the, uh... So we all, like, packed in for this Christmas thing, and then the uh, the heater gave out. So we were just, like, sitting in basically, like... Just and, a, like, for some reason, the seats had... <laughs> yeah, the seats had also gotten stripped out somehow. <laughs> so it was just, like... We were just, like, sitting in, like, the bare minimum seats. We had, like, two sisters and my parents just, like, sitting in here. And we were, like, Mom, we need to get a new car. <laughs> and this, this was after I think she suggested, like, uh, oh, no, we'll just get a new handle. I'll find one on Craigslist for, like, $30. It's handle. like, no, Mom, we need... <laughs> yeah, we need to know handle. It's like, no, Mom, this is, like... Normally my friends are really nice, but this is the one thing that they've made fun of me for is the <laughs> fact that our doors, our cars don't have handles on them. That's awesome. I love you, mom. I sometimes you listen to these episodes. I was basically um, a millionaire growing up, and I was Richie Rich, and I had a butler and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. I, um, that's yeah. I would I would love for that to be the thing I get canceled for. It's <laughs> like I it, it gets it gets revealed that I'm I'm, I'm using this show to pay for my butler. I'm like not even that rich. I make like seventy thousand dollars a year. Yeah, I, I'm just like chose to live in like a cheap enough city. I chose to live in like fucking like. I don't know, Duluth. like, uh, yeah, just like, like yeah, like Raleigh, North Carolina, <laughs> just so that I can I can pay just enough to have a butler. Like my my, my life sucks otherwise. I got, but I did make sure to get a butler. <laughs> Getting canceled because when you were a kid, you found a blank check and you wrote a billion dollars for yourself. <laughs> I came from money. Yeah. I came from I came from money I found on the ground. Yeah. What is the, honestly like having? Yeah. What is the leftist butler... take on buried treasure? Like, <laughs> when I don't know. As a communist, if you find buried treasure, what are you supposed to do with it? <laughs> that's a good question. I would love to find buried treasure. Oh my god! I think if the I closest I've come to that is the. So over. Yeah, I think that the the closest I have to that is waiting to uh, acquire that Ferdinand Marcos lamp in a will. Oh yeah, that's gonna that's gonna uh, go crazy. Um. Yeah, but uh, I was seeing if I had any other stuff. What's the time on yours? Because, like, I just start recording, like, so early because I've had so many bad experiences with Audacity just fucking crapping out on me. Uh, we're at about 56 minutes. Okay. Um, I'm going to look at some other posts. Um, cause I know I have Let's them. just look at, po- let's just, for four minutes, look at posts by ourselves silently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's look at some of mine. Um, I'm, I'm just search. asking things on... I'm gonna search I'm for looking, Hitler in uh in the try guys. Yeah. See if anyone... I'm just looking at all the posts I made, which are things on R slash Hearts of Iron Four. <laughs> <laughs> just like asking questions about balance and stuff. Um Yeah. Damn, I can't find anything for Hitler or poop or crap in the Try Guys wiki. This sucks. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> um Those are like Hitler the two was things one I of the Try for. Guys. Yeah, Hitler was the Arbeit mocked fry guy. Ignore that I made that joke earlier. Uh, okay. Porn free. I think we're gonna end on this. Can and porn make me feel? You can ignore you that I that? I tried to camp. I tried to come up with an example of an evil guy twice and kind of just went. I don't know an evil guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, Hitler isn't evil. He's a nefarious. Listen, he's beyond evil, buddy. And that's why I won't call him evil. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, why are you so weird about calling Hitler evil? Like I don't know. I don't know. It's a, I, um, I mean, there aren't words really to describe what he did. Yeah, there aren't words to describe Hitler, especially <laughs> not evil. They're just like I say Hitler's there's... evil. I won't. I won't. I won't. Um, I, won't uh, <laughs> I think Hitler's evil. Actually. I won't. Stu- that's what. That's Can exactly porn... what he wants you to do. You know, <laughs> you're giving what he yeah. wants. Yeah, he he's sort of like a heel in wrestling, but for history. <laughs> um, he really is. Yeah. Remember, you, you know that wrestling heel. Uh, some local wrestling heel who was just like the democrat and <laughs> he would just be like yeah. <laughs> i'm voting for barack obama and they'd be like bro get yeah. the fuck out of here <laughs> is local local wrestling is that like only a thing in the south or something or i don't know it's uh i think it's okay. mostly just a thing for nine-year-olds 
Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, local wrestling is just nine-year-olds beating each other up, which, to be fair, when you're nine, like, beating the shit out of another kid is one of the coolest things you can do. If, oh, for sure. Like, that's all you want to do when you're nine. Because I, I, I think I've said it on the show before, like, all... I just remember when I was nine and my dad, like, explaining what the movie Fight Club was to me, because he made a joke about the movie Fight Club. I was like, that sounds awesome. <laughs> I would love to do that. Like... Like, not, not in the, like, I would love to get revenge on the world. I was just like, I would love to go somewhere and beat people up. Yeah, I mean... I, like, try to do that all the time. And you don't get in trouble. And you don't get in trouble, and Brad Pitt's there, and you see him shirtless. <laughs> um, and Jared Leto's there, and you get to turn him into, like... You get yeah, to turn and him Jared Leto's fig. there, and he takes a special interest in you as a nine-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> Can porn make me feel gay out of nowhere? <laughs> Long story short, I got aroused a few days ago on cams. IDK, it was just something happened. It was dick after dick. I tried to jerk off with some and couldn't even say how it felt weird since it was guys. I text myself with gay porn. I text myself with gay porn. I think he means test. <laughs> don't get aroused. Let's be in a female solo or I think my girlfriend when I get aroused. I don't have desire to need or to feel text guys or call when he close or one thing or one talking about it makes my chest flutter and feel like it's stink sinking. I'll force myself to think of gay things like a scene or read a gay story, which I would at times get aroused due to it's saying deep details or reminds me of me and my girlfriend role play text things when i look at a guy i just like get weird feelings in my chest like i'm <laughs> oh, like i guess it's sinking other than that i'm just here saying hmm, okay not thinking anything sexual or wanting that guy to get other <laughs> to get to get sexual with me i go to picture of girl and feeling sort of the same but i get aroused a bit and start thinking of stuff but out of nowhere getting aroused about a guy and never happened and i honestly didn't like it because i have no <laughs> desire to talk to a guy or call a guy i hardly find excitement at looking at a guy i was fine two days ago i know what? i was ta straight talking nothing was bothering me but yeah i text myself with gay porn no feeling aroused then with lesbian and straight and solo female and i get aroused i'm getting i i'm <laughs> i'm getting the answers but the doubts am i straight i thought of fantasy and it doesn't make us who are we either who who we are either wow either that made, so that's a that's, that's a that's a big uh, <laughs> that's yeah if you were following along at home, I, I, it's pretty easy to follow along. I don't know why you wouldn't. Someone says, maybe you're bi, just stop watching porn. <laughs> and if you're still attracted, if you're still attractive to guys, you're bi. And then the user says, yeah. <laughs> I also have OCD, so even if I stop, the OCD will take over, which I am getting treated for next week. <laughs> yeah, gay thoughts from OCD. Well, I'm not constantly thinking about guys or saying, damn, he cute, or I want to fuck him. I've never had a crush on a guy. Yeah. I've got blowjobs from girls, and one of them made me fun, and I've come to me and my girlfriend on FaceTime have fun sex. <laughs> yeah. Sure, it was when she was just walking in the middle of the street, and I saw some guy waving at her phone, but, you know, I came for my girlfriend. Oh, um, hold up. Someone said, I had OCD. I used to masturbate watching male solo. Once I stop watching porn, my attachment to boys disappear. Sorry, English is not <laughs> my first language. <laughs> yeah, straight is also not my first sexuality. <laughs> so, yeah. this person I love that is all these people, and that's okay. But it's I love all these people that are like, you're not by this person's like, you're not bisexual, mark my words. I'm a serious porn addict and was never <laughs> into gay stuff till I was 28, but lately I started fantasizing about sucking dick and doing sissy stuff. Just after orgasm, I feel like shit and not to do it again, but just after three day, two to three days, the same stuff happens. I am not gay or bi, but one thing I know is that porn makes you beta, and if you watch it for several years, you get hooked on hardcore faux cest and cuckold genre. I would strongly suggest you stop watching porn and be a nice real girl. You'll realize this too. So these men are gay. Yeah, and they're just, it's funny how many of them are just like porn could never do that, man. Yeah. Like I would, I would never be be gay. It's, like it's 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 just porn. It's just these things. It's insane what porn does to you. I, I like mean, it's just you know, like, how are you? How do you let porn take up so much space in your brain? You know, it's like I know it's just insane like, jerk, that like just like jerk off and do something else. It really doesn't matter. I know, yeah, because it's like I want to see like on one hand it's like. Porn addiction isn't real, because it's like, but then it's also like, when you read about them, it's like, okay, clearly something's going on here. Yeah, I think they're like, just, I don't think they're that just, you can they're be, just freaks, like, they would have done some... Yeah, something. I don't think you can be, like, fully addicted, like, I don't think, you, I don't think porn is unique in doing that to you, but it's like, 
this person is like fucked up and something was going to do this sooner or later and it just landed on porn. And honestly, they should maybe be happy that it wasn't like opiates. Yeah, it's like this like, is honestly it, like maybe the best case scenario for a lot of these people. Honestly, yeah, it's like it's, like, it's not like it's you're keeping it to yourself and you know, like probably it's like not costing as much money as like other addictions probably could. Like, unless you're, uh, unless you're just paying for, like, you know, 50 OnlyFans subscriptions, like, yeah, you're just, uh, <laughs> it's something that you're keeping to yourself. <laughs> it's probably not as bad as heroin. Yeah, it's just, like, <clears throat> I don't know, why don't you just, yeah, why don't you well, just you get really, get why don't you just get really drunk and sad like the rest of us? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what you should get addicted to is this podcast and jerk off to it. Yep. Um, and you, yeah. sh- you should actually, get so addicted actually, to jerking off to it that you subscribe to the Patreon to have more stuff to yes. jerk off to. Yeah, it's pictures of us in tidy whities and we're uh, and my, like that my, gentleman. My, my dick is out in the photos, but yeah, my dick is out. Yeah, case. it's just a uh, it's just a picture of me standing doing the Superman pose, but you can only see my ass, which is clenched incredibly <laughs> yeah, it's hard. A, it's it's to you the point taking... that I have Hank Hill ass. <laughs> it's you taking a mirror selfie and then. In the, yeah. in the mirror, you can see me and Gus having gay sex in the background. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Missionary style. <laughs> Missionary gay sex. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, subscribe to the Patreon if you want to. If you want to see that. Uh, yeah. yeah. See you guys. Bye.